So hi everyone, um, my name is Carol. <laughs> I just recorded something so long and to only find out that I didn't press the record button. My name is Carol and I share um, visions and dreams, words of encouragement that the Lord gives me. I know it's been such a while that the Lord has had me come on here, but this morning I was really prompted in my spirit to do this video. It's been so many things have been going on, like, and we were we were approaching close, like an end to the twenty twenty three. We're in the new year in the Jewish calendar of uh, five seven eight four. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. I hope that everyone is well and spiritually aligned and is in good standing with God, because there is no other way to get through life. So the Lord has been, you know, teaching me about his heart. As you can see, the, 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 the caption of this video is portions of God's heart. So God has shown me this one time. He'd wake me up midnight or close to midnight. And he would reveal to me portions of his heart. And he said to me that the one portion of his heart is the love for his people and that was in the month of may the 27th of may 2023 there was seven it was in the jewish calendar it was seven 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 five eight three and it says and he says portions well i wrote here portions of my father's heart <laughs> one of the portions of god's heart is the love that he has for his people and it makes so much sense to me because God is love and he loves his creation. And the devil, the serpent of old, Satan, who which he was cast out, it says in the Bible, like lightning. He, the devil knows that God loves his people and that we are created. I mean, he created us in his image. So he knows that if he hurts and deceives his people if he deceives god's people then he knows that it would it would hit god really bad so the one of the portions of god's heart for his love for his people god loves you so much and he doesn't want you to be confused or to suffer or to wonder what's happening he just wants you to draw closer to him and have a relationship with him to to get to know him he wants you to know him he wants you to, he wants to reveal his heart he wants to reveal his his heart to you he wants to reveal his personality to you another point that he said to me was a portion of his heart was the disobedience of his people disobedience of his people we don't listen we don't listen to god we don't want to listen to god we want to live our lives the way that we want to because we still want to have quote unquote fun but you know god doesn't want to trap you and say you, know, you got to do this you no. like the world is not your friend you will get crushed if you don't have Jesus by your side. So obedience is very, very important to the Lord. Listening to him is very, very important. He knows better than you do. His thoughts are not your thoughts. His ways are not your ways. And a third point that he pointed out to me was the brokenness of his people. Now, how I perceived this was, I when I, when I, when I saw this, I saw hearts, broken hearts a lot of people are very broken inside and only god can know this a lot of people are very broken inside and he wants to he wants to put those pieces together he wants to align things for you in your life he wants you he wants to open your eyes and direct you and bring you closer to him and reconcile you for you to come back home going on vacation to de-stress or <laughs> i don't know what people do these days it doesn't help going to find yourself 
it's not gonna help we can only find ourselves in him he's our reflection when i look in the mirror sometimes i see the lord i see him because he abides in me and his words abides abide in me and his love abides in, in me so portions of god's heart was the love that he has for his people the and the disobedience of his people the brokenness of his people lord what do you want me to say right now <laughs> what is it that you want me to say i did ask him this before i came here and then this one night now this was in june um it was 23 23 it was 23 minutes past 23 and god said to me portions of god then i thought oh okay <laughs> there and then he said to me um before me there was no god there was no god formed nor shall there be after me and he took me to isaiah 53 i'm sorry he took me to isaiah 43 verse 10 where he says it's just it is it, it's just me this is the lord continuing it's just me i created my people who have turned against me i am their enemy because they do not understand me i need people i can turn to this is god this is when you have a relationship with god he will reveal to you his heart and i remember this night distinctively because i cried because it was as if I could feel what he was feeling. Like God loves his people so much, but people don't understand him. They have their own perceptions or they have what they grew up knowing about him. So I want us to go to Isaiah 43. If you have your Bibles with you, please go to Isaiah 43 verse 10. Isaiah 43 verse 10 reads like this. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before there was no God formed, nor shall they be after me. So that's where that comes from. The Lord is saying to you right now, I love you and you are in my heart. I want to abide in you and you abide in me. I want my love to abide in you. I want my word to abide in you. You, you don't need anything else except for Jesus Christ. He is your Lord. He is your Savior. He is your Father. Yes, He is your Father. <laughs> God is your father. He says that he will be a father to the fatherless. He is your father. And he's calling you to him. He's calling you to him. You will not experience any other love except for Jesus. He is love. And he loves you so much. And he's calling to you. I was watching his video right now. Whoever's watching this video right now, God is calling you to come to him. He wants to reveal these things. I'm not special. I'm not special. It's just that I I said to God, God, please, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Please take my life. It's all in your hands, Jesus. I offered myself as a living sacrifice to not be conformed to this world, but to be transformed in the renewing of my mind, to know that perfect and acceptable will of God. That's in the book of Romans. Every night I would pray that prayer until I started to receive dreams and visions from God. Until I started realizing that I'm not just waking up in the middle of the night, it's actually God waking me up. And I realized that if I can have a relationship with a friend or a relationship with a boyfriend. Why can't I have a relationship with God? Because it's the same thing. I put my effort into a relationship with a friend. I put an effort to go meet with them. Talk to them. 
you know, be there. Like, why can't I put all of that in God? We're all on a journey of our own in this world. And my journey, day by day, which God gives me, I spend with him. Every day, no matter what circumstance I'm going through, good or bad. I'm, I'm, I, I always share it with God. And God wants to tell you that you're in his heart. And he wants to get, ooh, show that I'm like this. He wants to get in your heart. I, I want to pray for you right now. If you're listening to this, please open your hands up to the Lord. Open your heart. Let him come into your heart. Lord God, we come before you. And I pray that you bless and watch over each and every person watching this video right now. Please repeat after me. Jesus, please come into my heart. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Direct me with your divine guidance. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And no one will enter into heaven. They have to go through you first. You can only enter by Jesus Christ. You died on the cross for me. You rose on the third day. And you are coming back soon. I give you my life. Direct my path. I don't know what I'm doing. But I trust in you, Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I pray that you are blessed. I love you all. And enjoy the rest of your day.